Alright, what's up guys? So, uh, this video is going to be about an exploit that currently exists in the game, uh, that basically anyone can do, and, uh, it's been in the game for an extremely long time, and what it does is it'll destroy your killer ranking, but it'll give you, uh, like, overnight, like, anytime you have a few hours that you're not going to be playing or using your computer, uh, you could just do this, and you'll get pretty much to a million blood points in, like, four or five hours. Uh, I don't recommend anyone actually get blood points this way, it's... Uh, obviously an exploit, I'm making this video to draw attention to it so that the developers can fix it because this is the easiest fix in the universe. Um, and I see a lot of people exploiting this at, uh, like, gray and yellow ranks, like, uh, ranks 20 to, like, uh, 12. Um, uh, because that's where your rating will usually end up. But basically how it works is, uh, this ready button right here. Um, okay, so, so the first thing you need... If you want to, if you want to exploit, you, there are thousands of these online. Is auto clicker programs. This is the one I usually use for um, testing things like this and not exploiting the game, which I don't do. And basically, what you do is you set it down to something kind of low, like two seconds, one second. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you press start, and all you have to do is just hold it over the ready button. While your mouse is in this position, while your mouse is on that ready button, on that searching for match spot. Uh, what that position will do is, while you're on this screen, it will automatically queue you into a game, as long as it's auto-clicking. While you're in-game, it'll automatically have you sit there swinging, which, and the survivors will run into you. Each time they run to you, you'll get, like, 300 blood points. Um, uh, you know, very, very easy. You know, you just, you, you, you're literally just sitting there in-game, you're auto-swinging because click is swing. This is obviously a PC exploit. Um, and then... Once the match ends, you go to the, the lobby screen, and the button to exit the lobby is exactly in that same position, so you automatically exit that lobby uh, before they can, like, start flaming you. Uh, maybe they, they don't, they, like, I don't know, maybe they're trying to report, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, it, it, it exits that lobby immediately, and then you come back to this screen, and it's back on the ready button. Same thing in the actual in-game lobby, is it's right on the ready button, so you ready up immediately. Um... This is something that, it's kind of pathetic that it's been in the game for, like, so many years, but this has been here forever, and literally all they would have to do, like, I'm, I'm really surprised they're not aware of this yet, but all they have to do to change this so people don't do this, is they just have to, you know, offset one of those ready buttons slightly, or put the cancel button, you see how it's just above the ready button? Uh, actually, overlapping UI elements is, is I don't know, it, it, it's awkward. So, just, they just have to move one of those ready buttons, move one of those leave lobby buttons, you know, just move something slightly out of the way so that it's not this easy to exploit. Um, that's about it. Uh, so that's the video I wanted to make. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, I'm not endorsing doing this. I'm just bringing attention to it because I'm shocked that the developers haven't seen it yet. All right. Uh, and I'm sure anyone who's play plays a lot, like, above rank 12, they'll see people just sitting there at spawn, swinging repeatedly to farm blood points. They'll usually run deviousness, you know, uh, Thrill of the Hunt gives you 10%, uh, and something, a lot of people will run barbecue just because it says blood points on it, even though you can't actually get blood points doing this with barbecue, and then they'll run the one with the picture of a bear on it, that, like, reduces your bloodlust or something, I forget what it's called, uh, because that gives you some blood points too, but, yep, so that's the exploit, um, don't use it, and, uh, thanks for watching, guys, uh, that is, uh, the method, I'm not gonna leave an auto-clicker link or anything, I'm not encouraging you guys to do this. Uh, that's how you get unlimited blood points. Uh, those are, that moving that UI element is the simple step the developers can take to fix it. Uh, thanks for watching. All right, what's up, guys? So uh, the beginning of this video was talking about how to do an exploit. I figured I will, um, I'll demonstrate it by just holding my mouse in this spot and just repeatedly clicking that because I really don't want to exploit a game, but I want to demonstrate that it's possible. So, uh, I'm just gonna sit AFK, and actually, I'm gonna switch to Doc, and I'm gonna put on Distressing and Calm, just so people can find me faster. Um. Oh, good. Um, but, um. No, it's just nothing. Oh, actually, a second, does it do, does Calm stack? I wonder if Calm stacks. I think that stacks. <laughs> Alright, um... Oh, 
Alright, I'll give them extra blood points for having to sit through this nonsensical game. Alright, so I'm just gonna sit on this ready button. I'm just gonna keep clicking. I'm probably gonna have this fast forwarded. Um, I'm probably actually gonna... I gotta cut to when the game starts. Oh, no, no. Should I even do that? Or should I demonstrate that it works in the lobby? I'll fast forward through this. I'll, I'll have this part heavily fast forwarded, but... And ideally, once they all leave, uh, and we go to the lobby, I won't have moved my mouse enough for it to move off of the leave lobby button, and I'll just leave lobby instantly. And they had it, they're leaving the key. That's pretty funny. She had to be in a chase for that to give her points. This close, but no cigar. Alright. And it instantly leaves the lobby. And after my terrible loading times, it instantly readies this back up. So that's an example of how the exploit works. I realize I only got a few thousand blood points that game, but that's still a few thousand free blood points. Um, so it's worth it to some people. Again, I recommend not doing this, but it's what a lot of people do. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more um, content like this about how the game could be improved or um, things like that, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment below if there's any criticism you have towards the video. Alright, thank you and thanks for watching. Bye.